It's been a day full of testimony in this Douglas County, Kansas courtroom. The Terrence Shannon Jr. trial is continuing about seven hours away from Champaign. Good evening, I'm Brennan Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. It's a story we've been following the last six months. Ever since the former Illini was suspended from the basketball team, he was charged with rape after an incident at a college bar in Lawrence. WCI3's Amanda Brennan is live in our newsroom. Amanda, you've been following today's proceedings. What happened? The judge's assistant tells me this morning started with two people testifying for the state. That includes the alleged victim's friend and Jennifer Hewitt with the Kansas Bureau of Investigations. Hewitt went through DNA evidence showing there was no male DNA in the woman's lower private areas. The friend walked through what she saw happen that night. Lawyers in the courtroom say that's when she explained she didn't see anything in relation to a rape, but she is claiming she saw Shannon grab the accuser's arm. Another detail, she went with her friend to the hospital the next morning. That was for the sexual assault exam. That night, 24 hours later, she said they both went back to the Jayhawk Cafe. Now for the defense, multiple KU basketball players testified today. Hunter Dickinson was the first one. He says he was with Shannon all night and saw nothing. Kevin McCuller took to the stand as well. Yesterday, Shannon's lawyer says that he was with him the whole time too. Lawyers say Justin Harmon and Deshaun Hobson were also expected to testify. They are with the Illinois basketball program. Reporting in the newsroom, Amanda Brennan, WCIA3, your local news leader. Amanda, thank you.